Tonight, some are criticizing a decision by the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office to release inmates from the jail. Dozens of inmates let go over the past few days to relieve overcrowding. 2 News reporter Brennan Richard is following this developing story for us, and he shows us. Well, Karen, overcrowding isn't a new issue. In fact, it's one of the main reasons why this facility, the current facility here, was built in 1999. And if you take a look at this chart, you can see that the number of inmates booked into the Tulsa County Jail has grown leaps and bounds in just the last decade. It resulted in about 200 inmates being released last week. Now, these aren't violent inmates. Nevertheless, not everyone likes the idea of seeing these inmates set free. They especially don't like the fact that the jail refuses to accept inmates facing municipal only charges right now. They shared their opinions with the sheriff's office at a jail liaison committee meeting this afternoon, but the sheriff's office says they don't have a choice. And when you're getting flooded, you've got to you've got to stop the flood before you drown. And so, you know, by not accepting the municipal prisoners at this point, that helps stop some of the flooding. The Sheriff's Department says there's not one big thing driving the overcrowding. They say there are several factors from inmates not being able to afford higher bonds to population growth. Tulsa City officials are studying their options, looking to see what they can do if overcrowding at the jail remains an issue. Officials hope the jail will be under capacity by the end of this week. Live in downtown, Brandon Richard, 2 News Works For You.